I got one, two, three, hard. Make your mail in a day, tomorrow I make more. I got four, five, six, yeah. Counting so much money, you can call me cashier. I got one, two, Hey guys, welcome back to another 10% FX video. I'm Ollie. I'm Jamie. So in this video, some of your guys' favorite videos, what we do, we're just going about our week as we do, trading, showing our trades in the Discord, putting them on our account, just full transparency, showing you guys absolutely everything. Yeah, we've been away for five months. You guys have probably missed us. Some of you probably haven't, but <laughs> oh well, we're back now. And um, yeah, so you guys should be excited to watch some of our videos. We've got some bangers planned and uh, it's going to be sick. So be ready for it, but let's get right on with it. Hi right, guys. So we just came to get some lunch uh, before the stock market opens in, what is it now, about, it's about half one. So we've got about hours of stock market open. So. We're looking for set up on the indices. Uh, just came to get some drinks and that. Ready? What do you want to say? Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jamie sees a trade on GBP USD as well. I think. Set Potent up. Potentially, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll run you through that. But uh, you got any food or not? Um, what's that I got? But we're just here to basically let you know, guys. We're back. Let's go. All right, so let's go over that GU trade I mentioned in the shop. So what we're looking at at GU is we're looking for this high. So this is Thursday's daily high. We're looking for that to get taken out. If we can get up into there, you can see we do have these really nice equal lows here on GU. So what we're looking for is a push up. We're waiting to see if GU can get up into this high and then look for a confirmation short. So if it does get up there, we'll update you on that. But obviously, it is Friday. It's currently uh, 2 p.m. UK time. So we're getting a little bit late. Uh, still time for an entry, but we can wait. Now, if we go on to... Um, let's get off this. If we go on to the indices so as you can see s p is taken out yesterday's high nasdaq just done it um the dow has not done it we are looking at potentially a short on the s p uh we do have these nice equal lows in here and if you go on the nasdaq we also have nice equal uh, fairly, fairly equal uh more cleaner on the s p uh, obviously, that is rallying quite a bit. The S&P is the stronger one right now. We have stock market open in 20 minutes from now. So we're going to look to see what we can get from that. But S&P, NASDAQ and GU are potential plays in the market for right now. Right. So just sent a trade out uh, in profit right now on the NASDAQ. It is a 1 to 3.5. So it's literally just been sent out. If you look here, there we go. NASDAQ sell. That's been sent into a Discord. So to our clients, it's actually came down a bit more since I was just on here. So taps into an order block. It's uh, we're targeting this low down here. Let me go on here, uh, 15 minute uh, down here, targeting this low there. So we'll keep you updated. Um, but yeah, it's a nice trade. So let's see how it does. But hopefully another win in the book. Let's go, guys. Trade is running very well right now. About to take that low out. Uh, it took that one up there, what we saw already. Now it's going to take this one and continue down. Hopefully, we should see TP very, very shortly. Um, about just under halfway when it gets to there. So let's keep it going. I'll keep you guys updated. Stop loss will probably break even soon. Uh, Stick coming a little bit further first because it did just come up. And if I did say break even, uh, it would have been a uh a break-even trade that's why sometimes you do have to leave it because if you see here from when i sent it out it did come back up perfectly to entry there we go taking out our low guys so we should just see it keep printing candles down now all right so we are currently in jamie's hotel room for a night one of the nicest hotels around here unfortunately it's not the best but local to where we are um so yeah 90 quid a night guys yeah. um but if you remember back in the day guys a few few videos ago a uh, Tinder notification came up on Jamie's phone. It's finally paid off. Up there, put it just below the wicks, just to be set. So oh, <laughs> he's got a girl tonight. <laughs> so anyway, here's the trade we're looking at. Um, we're over halfway TP. Uh, so one to where's Jamie's map? But so uh, if you can see guys, yeah, so one to one to three point five. If you can see that. Uh, so one to three point. But yeah, uh, we're still rewards. So. Yeah, that's just hopefully here. We're continuing down, like I said now, after it took that low. And we should see target here on the hour low down there. 
in the next, probably in the next hour. What well, else time now? We're looking at, yeah, near the close now. So, yeah, next uh, 30 minutes or so should be a target. Fingers crossed. Stop losses risk free now, also, by the way. Trades uh, running risk free. It's in two handles in profit. So, if it comes up, it comes up. It is what it is. Oh, let's go. Boom. So, guys, there we go. TP has hit. As I said, so about to screenshot that and send it out to them. Full TP for the Discord. Let's go. Clients can be happy. 1 to 3.5, 1 to be precise. Risk to reward. So, yeah, good day overall. Last day of the week. Um, that is pretty much it, though, for today, you guys, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's pretty much so it. Good training. Enjoy day. your weekends with your family and friends. And. Yeah, and we'll see goes. you guys next week. Let's go. So, in the Discord, here you go. It's our channel, as you can see. 1,000 members. So, people are happy. Uh, that's why we sent it out at 3.11. So, just after stock market open. And then, running in profit, 35 minutes later. Happy still. And then, obviously, TP hit. So, happy reactions. Everyone's happy. Made money today, to end off the week. So, let's go over the trade I sent out on the nasdaq so so we just wanted to take a second out of the video to show you our website and what we have to offer so we'll start off by showing you the funded account passing service okay so here's the page where you get a funded account from us so here are the requirements that are needed to work with us then obviously here is what happens if we fail the challenge you scroll down here are the details you just need to put in uh, so we can start working together and obviously tick the agreement once you've read it and purchase if you'd like to learn from us then click on mentorship okay so here is the page if you scroll down you can see what is included and if you click on these it shows you what the modules are for the videos if you scroll down a bit further here are the details that you put in again tick the agreement once you've read it and purchase so now we're back on the home page click packages this takes you to our recommended package you can see there which contains all our stuff then build your own so just press get started now then we are on to the section so you can see everything we often have to offer there and information about it then you scroll down fill out your details and there's what we have to offer we'll click signals here for example fill out your discord username card details click the agreement and purchase now so we had these highs over here we was me and jamie went to these earlier in the day uh it got taken out and obviously completely went past um obliterated it so it took out liquidity so we then started coming down i was looking for an entry higher up here, around here that was a high risk entry though so we waited for continue we started coming down we was already in confirmed bearish after we've taken out these lows so once you tapped up into here into this impulse block and then it also created another one down here if we go on to the one minute time frame we can see it tapped into this imbalance also and uh, went past this one I was thinking on the five, this is why I had to stop us a bit above it. Uh, where's it gone? I did think when we got to here, I thought we might see it come up a bit higher, tap into here, and uh, on the five minute, but that didn't happen, and we continued down. We took out these lows, and then we pretty much just ran to take profit. We kept making new lower lows until it took the target. Uh, so it's a pretty simple trade, really, guys. Just targeting the obvious lows down here. If we go on the hour, uh, you can see clearly the ones Jamie said about earlier in that day. Um, these ones here, uh, all across here, and there. Uh, obviously, it was this candle that took it out. So that was a very nice trade. It would end up being a one to three point five one. It's only like a point one off. That's why it says five two. But yeah, overall, really nice trade. Uh, targeting the liquidity at the lows after it took out the liquidity and the highs and we just continue to the downside after that so that's pretty much it guys so this will be the last trade of the week before market close uh it's another one to three as you can see on the s p so hopefully this is another another win we're looking for the lows down here uh, three fairly equal lows so this should hit in the next hour if it's going to last bit of movement of the day 
uh, between 8 to 9 UK time. So I'll keep you updated, guys, on how it plays out and uh, show you a trade in Discord, obviously. Here's an update on the trade, guys. It did go into drawdown, but as you can see, we are now running nicely in profit. So I'll keep you guys updated. So you see, one to three on the dot. So we should, if we see this low take out, shouldn't have a problem going for this one. Then we should be down cleanly. So it is late, though, so I won't be holding this over the weekend, as personally, that's not what we do. So if it is in profit about, and it isn't a TP by about half nine, uh, we'll be uh, saying to close early. But hopefully if it's even there, that'll still be a nice 1 to 1.5 out of our. Oh, look at that. There we go. Not a bad entry. It was a sniper. As you can see, it did start coming down to there straight away from the entry. But um, then it did come up a bit. But it's not a problem. You can have drawdown in trading. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're in though, and it's running nicely. So that's all that matters. So, as you can see, guys, well on the way to TP. Uh, had a little funny candle here. Um, it decided to come up towards the end of the hour. Uh, 8 p.m. 8, uh, from 8.50. Uh, but now we're well on the way. We've taken out that low. Stop losses at break even. We just sent out in the group. Uh, depending on broker, some people uh, probably got stopped out here. But as you can see, it hasn't officially hit stop loss. Um, so yeah, it's going well. Uh, a bit more drawdown than wanted. But TP should hit by market close. So market's about to close in 11 minutes, as you can see. So, we actually just sent out to close the trade manually at, if you can see there, uh, 1 to 1.5 risk to reward. So, not bad. So, we're ending the day on 5% uh, increase. So, not a bad day at all. So, but yeah, have a good weekend like we said, guys. So we said there may be another trade later, and there was. I uh, don't want to hold over the weekend, because uh, you know it can gap on Sunday. So, but yeah, that is it. And we will see you Monday or Tuesday when we're back trading. So guys, we've just been for breakfast. Uh, me and Jamie had a full English, I had an uh, eggs benedict. So trading day has begun now, we're in New York session. Yep. So 11.20, uh, so yeah, probably gets into it in the next 40 minutes. But we're going to start looking for some trades, go back to the setup, and we'll keep you guys updated. So guys, just sent out a trade right now. Uh, it's moved a little bit, so I've had to send it quick. So it's on GP, JPY. So entries at 190.706. And then stop loss, as you can see there. This is a nice 1 to 2.75 with the reward. So we're going to see how this plays out. Uh, we've tapped into this imbalance. And we're looking for these lows down here. Takes out this one. Should uh, see a nice tap into there. I'm not going below there. Because uh, we could easily see it play off of this area here. So that's that. We're coming down nicely already. Uh, no drawdown. So that is a nice sight to see. And I am also going to do a breakdown for you on the... What trade was it on Friday? In, was it NASDAQ or... Yeah, NASDAQ. So uh, we'll do. I'll do a trade uh, breakdown on that for you guys and show completely over why I'd send that out. Guys, look at this. Literally minutes later after we sent it out, I've gone the hour to show you. This is what it's doing. What a trade. We showed you it when I sent it out. And when was this? What time? That was 12.25, 14 minutes later, and we're on the way to TP. As you can see, uh, 1 to 2.75. And this is actually going to get smacked with TP. So great trade yet again. Three out of three from Friday. Showed you the S&P late at night. Didn't quite hit TP. If we held, it would have. But absolutely killing it. Right, so a little update from yesterday. It's now uh, Wednesday. So we had the GP JPY sell, obviously. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, sorted now. Uh, it was running clean from entry, from get-go. As you guys saw yesterday, we showed no drawdown. Running nicely. Stop loss was moved to break even. We did say take partials, so it's not too bad. Uh, that was over 50%, so it's still about 1 to 1.7 with partials. And then we had this. of two pips from take TP right there. And we then came all the way back up. 
So annoying, but it happens. That's why it's important to manage your trades and move stop loss to break even and uh, always take partials. So Jamie's just getting his setup ready for the trading day. We're about to start our trading day. It's now Thursday. So that trade yesterday ended up hitting stop loss as we showed. Only a 4.8 pip due to news. Then it did annoyingly come to take profit. And you can see my awkward angle here, guys. But Jamie, we missed this trade earlier. Uh, Jamie had trade for AUD, a USD. I'm feeling I didn't send it out and it's fucking about to hit TP. So annoying, but it happens. It's so worse. we're going to see what we can do today. Um, any more trades, but already a good result for the week. So we're ending the video tomorrow. So you see a full week overall. But so far, so good. Bullshit to the side sometimes I'm wishing that my brother ain't died I gotta keep all of those feelings inside Cause nobody really down to ride Nobody really down to slide and we ain't on the same time And we ain't on the same grind Got too much money on my mind Every time I'm in a booth I'm speaking the truth <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, so we're gonna go over the trades Just work out what we made percentage wise this week So, if you have a look on here So the first trade was a Nasdaq sell this ends up being a full TP. So that is 3.51% um, already bagged. Then we had the S&P 500 trade. Now we did actually count this in the group as a win, but we're not gonna add this on just because it was very uh, close, it was very skeptical and the spread could have taken them out uh, on that trade. So we're not gonna count this one, but um, just because uh, it's a bit controversial. Uh, then we had this uh, GJ sell. Um, and this ended up dropping. We said about taking partials as well at 50%. So this was, um, all right, so we just had to work out what that was. So that was 1.37% uh, on that GJ trade. At 50%. Yeah, and then obviously it ended up kind of break even. So that was that trade. Then we had a USD JPY buy. That was a stop loss hit. So that is minus 1%. And that gets us to 3.88% for the week. So, not a bad week, guys. No, 3.88%. Round up to four, roughly. That's, yeah, that's close enough. And 16% um, a month. With compound interest as well. Some of you are compounding, you know, yeah, that, that adds up massively. That's a funded account every month. And um, some people uh, believe that you need to make 20% every single fucking day. That isn't the case. Uh, not every day is going to be an account flip. Not every trade is going to be, you know, a 1 to 10 or 1 to 20. Uh, it's just unrealistic in the market to expect that. But 3.88% in the week, it's not a bad week. And this wasn't even one of our best weeks. You know, you're not seeing, you know, this, we're not saying this is an incredible week for us or anything. But it, this was just a, a normal week for us. And um, obviously some weeks will be better, some weeks will be worse. But 3.88%, we're in profit for this week. Let's go. Most likely no more trades today. No, it's Friday, getting late. Go out for a nice meal later. And uh, enjoy the weekend. So that wraps up the video, guys. Now Friday, coming to the end of the trading day. So no more trades for us. Yeah, it's been a decent week overall, man. It's been it? decent, yeah. I say average. Like we said, three point eight eight percent. It's not nothing uh, crazy, but it's also it's enough to be making a good amount, especially on when you have a funded account. Yeah. That's a that's a lot of money. Two hundred k. That's just under eight k. So it's a good amount of money uh, on a when, especially if you're scaling it up even higher. That's a, a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so great week. But yeah, this is first video back in five months, guys. We've been gone for too so long. If you missed us, please show some support. It helps push us out there yeah. by getting this video to, what should we say, 1K? Yeah, 1K. 1K likes. I think that's easily doable for you guys, but it's been a while. Uh, 2K, so change it to 2K. 2K? Yeah. Okay, let's go for 2K. Let's come back with a bang. Let's go with a bang, guys. 2K. But yeah, make sure if you do around here, to subscribe. I've been Ollie. I've been Jamie. And we'll see you next week. Peace.